So uh, Maharaj needs no introduction. His Holiness Tamal Krishna Goswami Maharaj. He was a very, very senior disciple of Srila Prabhupada and one of the pioneer leaders of Krishna consciousness in our movement. Maharaj appeared on 18th of June, 1946 in New York City. And then Maharaj in the early days of Viscon in 1968 came in contact with the devotees and in the touch of Srila Prabhupada. And then subsequently he got initiated and was one of the pioneers of the San Francisco Center. And he got his sannyas initiation. He received his sannyas initiation from Srila Prabhupada in 1972 in Jaipur, in Radha the Temple. And elaborately, this sannyas pastime has been described in Srila Prabhupada Lilamrit. And it's a very interesting and inspiring pastime which we hear. Srila Tamal Krishna Goswami Maharaj was uh, denoted as, was addressed as Goswami Maharaj by the God Brothers, by his God Brothers in Iskand, and as Srila Gurudev by his disciples. <clears throat> his major contributions in the Krishna Consciousness Movement are as follows. That he, Prabhupada appointed him as the GVC of his con in the year 1970. Since then, he has been serving as the GBC member. And he found he founded and headed Radha Damodar Bus Party in 1975, and he led the bus party till 1979. When Srila Prabhupada left the planet, he made a team of GBCs and Diksha Gurus who can give initiation. So Maharaj was in both of them. Srila Prabhupada appointed him as the GBC and as his authorized representative to initiate disciples as well. And he remained Srila Prabhupada's GBC until Srila Prabhupada, GBC secretary. He was Srila Prabhupada's secretary in his last pastimes, Srila Prabhupada's final pastimes. He also remained trustee of Bhakti Vedanta Book, Book Trust and was the main pioneer of preaching in China, in the communist country where Srila Prabhupada sent him. And by Maharaja's mercy, his tireless efforts and by his endeavors today in China, there are more than 20,000 devotees, Chinese, who are practicing Krishna consciousness. And on the day of 15th March 2002, Maharaj disappeared from this world materially in an accident. So Maharaj had very, very esteemed contributions in this movement. And also Maharaj did his BA in religious studies from the University of Dallas and completed his doctorate in, in the year to, in the early 2000s from the University of Cambridge. He was PhD in Vaishnava religious studies. And I was personally reading in Lilamrit that how Srila Tamal Krishna Sai Maharaj was personally trained by Srila Prabhupada in each and every personal aspect. Each and every small aspect, Srila Prabhupada trained him. And we can, this description comes in Lilam that when Tamal Krishna Maharaj, he joined, and he, when he used to be with Prabhupada, he used to copy each and everything Prabhupada did. Like how Prabhupada is taking prasad, how Prabhupada is sitting, what Prabhupada is doing when Prabhupada's stomach is upset, what Prabhupada is doing when Prabhupada is facing some problem. So as it is, Maharaj used to see, notice, and he was very interested how Srila Prabhupada he is a master of the spiritual world, is a pure devotee, and how he is dealing in practical situation. So Maharaj was personally also personally trained by Srila Prabhupada. And almost every he was the key devotee by whom, by his efforts, we got the land in Mayapur. And we read the pastime in Dilamrit that how victoriously he came from Navdeep and Declare to Srila Prabhupada that Srila Prabhupada, the land is yours. So these are some personal instructions of Srila Prabhupada to His Holiness Tamal Krishna Goswami Maharaj. That, uh, and Tamal Krishna Goswami Maharaj, when the Los Angeles Center was established by Srila Prabhupada, so Tamal Krishna Goswami Maharaj was the leader of the Sankirtan and book distribution. So this was his life and soul, Sankirtan and book distribution. And Srila Prabhupada personally trained him in doing that and expanding it to the great heights. So this is some of the personal instructions of uh, Srila Prabhupada to Maharaj. That we can see that regarding Sankirtan and book distribution, both should go on 
but book distribution is more important it is brahat kirtan so for wider kirtan book distribution is better book distribution is also kirtan regarding making hundreds of traveling parties yes do that please as far as possible so we can see shila propa personally used to guide him and inspire him for sankirtan and book book distribution he was one of the very strong ardent strict followers of shila propa and you he has inspired many hundreds of devotees so these are some of the instructions of his holiness who which he gave to his disciples and in his classes once he was mentioning in his class that one cannot go back to godhead unless he has tasted in holy name and he then instructed that taste in holy name means that if someone chants his rounds before mangalarti before the start of mangalarti once one completes his 16 rounds then i will guarantee that he will go back to god so this is something he himself to guarantee of and another instruction maharaj gives us that one doesn't leave bhakti for philosophy one will only leave bhakti when he compromises either with his chanting or with his regulative principles then only he can leave krishna consciousness because he was actually because maharaj was very much attached to shila prabhupada and he was such a strict follower so he always used to focus on shila prabhupada's core principles like sankirtan book distribution mangalarti chanting reading shrimad bhagavatam he was a very strong preacher as we can see in his classes and just i came across a very good instruction of maharaj regarding preaching that a good musician doesn't blame the instrument a good cook doesn't blame the pots a good dancer doesn't blame the floor and a good preacher doesn't blame the field that he gave from in his class so and actually we can he exemplified this instruction by preaching in a country like china where almost in the constitution it is written that china is an atheistic country and doesn't believe in religion in such a country maharaj established krishna consciousness and uh, i and personally i was feeling that maharaj is so much personally connected to shila guru maharaj and guru maharaj used to love him so much uh, so just one incident i remembered which guru maharaj also mentions in ocean of mercy that one day when uh, shila tamal krishna goswami maharaj and shila guru maharaj were sitting on the bank of ganges and then guru maharaj mentions to maharaj that they were having some uh, talks and maharaj was also very much having loving exchanges with guru maharaj and then guru maharaj suddenly he mentions that all of you western devotees you are so fortunate all of you are so extraordinary all of you have come personally from the spiritual world to assist shila prabhupada and then by hearing this maharaj becomes very grave he was that time very casual with guru maharaj but suddenly hearing this statement he becomes very grave and he says to guru maharaj that yes what you are saying is correct so by this we can understand that he was personal associate of shila prabhupada and then one another very inspiring past time i came across that one shila prabhupada called maharaj for the scores targets of book distrib- book distribution so then shila prabhupada calls him and then maharaj is giving target that now we will be distrib- this radha damodar bas party will distribute actually he was told that this jayatirth prabhu who was also a very lead book distributor he will be distributing books may bringing 90000 dollars and then it was told to maharaj on phone so maharaj says on phone okay if he is distributing 90000 radha damodar bas party will distributed 100000 dollars worth books so then shila prabhupada again says that jayatirth is with me he is telling that he will distribute 110000 dollars worth books so maharaj again he now in a competitive mode he increased it to 120000 dollars so then shila prabhupada again says that jayatirth is saying that he will distribute 130000 dollars and then maharaj says that okay if he is distributing 130000 dollars radha damodar bas party will distribute 140000 dollars books and then again he was told that jayatirth is saying 
that he will be distributing $150,000 books. And then Maharaj got so much irritated by this. So in his transcendental competition, his, he said, I am sending a blank check. Whatever target Jayati fix, increase $10,000 above that. And that will be the target of Radha Dhamma party. So by this, we can see that Maharaj was so inspired, so empowered to distribute books of Srila Prabhupada. He was so much convinced on the teachings of Srila Prabhupada. And we are very fortunate that we are able to discuss his teachings and his pastimes so that we can purify his Hare Krishna. Thank you very much, Maharaj. Wow, very nice. <laughs> Wonderful. So, nice things to hear.